What's up, ladies and gentlemen? How y'all doing? I'm Kuta Kente, the conscious comedian. And I'm still conscious of all things. This time, man, I'm conscious of this Rick Ross and Young Jeezy situation, or if it is a situation that's going on. It might not be in the music business, but it was a situation that went on on my job about Young Jeezy and Rick Ross. This is a true story. You know, I never seen brothers about to get to fighting and kill ourselves over rappers they don't know. Or rappers that's not put money in their pocket. You know, this shit kind of bugged me the fuck out and I wanted to bring it to the people. You know what I'm saying? This is a true story. You know, because I don't want people to think, man, this nigga Kucha can say he comes comedian well and this nigga lying, he talking bullshit. This shit is a true story. I'm at work the other night. You know, guy, um, two guys about to get into it. This is how it went. Man, one of the guys that like Young Jeezy was like, hey, bro, the nigga Young Jeezy back, bro, you got the, you got the um, real mixtape, man. That shit hard, bro. You know Thug Motivation 101 about to drop on fucking with Jeezy, man. I'm glad he came back. So the nigga that fuck with Rose kind of got up. You know what I'm saying? Like he went to the soda machine, got a soda, came back, was like, yeah, bro, that nigga Jeezy, all right, but I roll with that nigga Rose, bro. He the realest nigga in the game, man. I don't care what niggas say, bro. Niggas can't fuck with him on the goddamn lyrics or the delivery. So, you know, dude like Jeezy was like, bro, Rick Ross sweet, but he fake, though, bro. His whole lifestyle is fake. So the dude that like Ricky Rose was like, bro, how you know his lifestyle fake, bro? Do you know him? Is you, that, is you from the A County? Do you be down Florida? So the dude that like Young Jeezy was like, hey, bro, Steven Wonder can see that this whole nigga lifestyle is fake. So I'm like, God damn. So the dude that like Ricky Rose was like, hey, bro, you ain't gonna keep on saying Ricky Rose fake, bro, for real. I vouch for that nigga, bro. I don't know that nigga, but I got all his albums, bro. I rolled with that nigga, bro. That nigga is real to me. So the nigga that like Young Jeezy started laughing like, <laughs> This nigga think Ricky Rose real. <laughs> nigga like Young Jeezy was like, hey, bro, the nigga is not better than Young Jeezy to me. The nigga ain't really than Young Jeezy to me. The nigga don't got ad-libs like Young Jeezy to me. So the nigga just got up out of nowhere. You know, niggas like, hey, look, bro, he got a nigga face like, hey, look, bro, for real, you ain't gonna keep on saying Rose fake either, bro. We can goddamn do something right now, bro. So the nigga kind of stepped back, was like, hey, bro, you trying to beef with me over Ricky Rose? He said, well, shit, we can take it there, bro, because I fuck with Jeezy, bro. I'm a real nigga, dog. I fuck with Jeezy. So, you know, me, I'm in the corner, ladies and gentlemen. I can hear all this bullshit. This shit was in the lunchroom. I'm in the corner. I'm like, man, I hope these niggas don't get to fighting over who better between Ricky Rose and Young Jeezy. So, the niggas get up in their face. Both of them push each other. Niggas had to come break it up. The, the managers, the supervisor had to come in there. Like, why is these niggas fighting over Everybody like, shit, they fighting over Young Jeezy and Rick Ross. So them niggas still get them off it. So the supervisor told them niggas they had to take off from work and they had to leave. So when them niggas was leaving, the niggas was like, all right, cuz, for real, I'm about to go to the trunk, bro. The nigga that like Rose was like, I'm about to go to the trunk, bro, because I'm tired of you keep on saying this nigga fake, dawg. I'm tired of it. So the nigga that like Jesus was like, cuz, my pistol already on the front seat. This whatever you want to do. So, you know, everybody had to get up like, come on, bro, though. Why y'all about to fight over these two niggas? These niggas ain't put money in your pocket. So niggas was like, nah, bro, it ain't even about the money, bro. It's about this nigga goddamn up in my face talking about goddamn um, Young Jeezy and, and all this shit. And so the other nigga was talking about, man, this nigga up in my face talking about Rose, man. I don't respect none of them niggas, bro. So I'm like, more to this story is, ladies and gentlemen. Why the fuck are we about to get to fighting over some rappers that don't know you, that's not putting money in your pocket? You know, I you know I just had to bring this this story to the people because this shit just fucked me up as a black person because I'm like, we actually about to get to fighting over who better between Rick Ross and Young Jeezy, and none of these niggas know these niggas. Hey, look, man. I'm Kuta Kente, the conscious comedian, man. I'm still conscious of all things.